Hello everybody and welcome back to Portal Reloaded. We just made our way to the penultimate test chamber, test chamber 24. Uh, so let's take a look around and see what we're working with here. Um, here's our exit right here. Very interesting. And there's a button there. So my guess is we need to have a push field kind of going something like this. Oh, that's blocked at the moment. But it would be heading into that button from there. And then it would push a block against the button to open the exit. So, uh, we would need two buttons. One, I think, oh, that reverses the polarity. What does this do? This turns it off entirely. Very interesting. And what do we have over here? There's a button over there. So I'm guessing if we put the button over there, it unlocks this fizzle field, which allows us to get something heading towards the exit. <clears throat> And over here, we can drop a... We can drop that, okay. And then we could do this, right? To kind of drop it on that bouncer. Okay. It's pressed up, up against a grate there. Let's try this again. That kind of kicks it up. Then what? Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so can we can we catch it there? Okay, so that'll push it there. And then it hits a wall, so we need another we need to hit another thing that goes like that, pushes it down. So it falls into that one, and then what? No, we need to hit that and then reverse polarity. Okay, so this is like a puzzle to maneuver the, the button to the right location. Let's start here. And we need to... Hold on, I've, I've messed up already. How did I... Oh, right, we, so we start there. Okay, hang on. So we, we drop we drop the the block, then we stop the field here, let it go again, then we push it down, pull it through. Except we want to be going the other way here, so we reverse the polarity with this button, pull it through. Then what? Then I think we push it up, and then that way. Can we reverse the polarity? And then push it down and it lands on the button over there. So that's all well and good. That gets us sort of started. But now how do we get another copy of the button? Right? That's the next question. How are we going to get another copy of the button? Uh, so we can... Redo that, but then, kind of in the middle there, we can push it down into a portal there and out here so we get a copy of it in the future. And then push the original, no, push the, huh, that's curious. We need to be able to have that there and then have the second one free and clear which is troubling. I don't see how we can do that just yet. Because we can, if we brought it over here, we could get a second copy of it, but then how do we... Then if we move it, we're stuck because this the second copy disappears. So can we move, can we maneuver ourselves over there somehow? I don't think so. Those are all graded. Huh, okay, tricky, tricky, tricky. So the trick is gonna be getting both copies of the button with one kind of uh, in its final configuration. And then how do we do the second one? So if we got the first one over here, pressed up against that, and then went to the future, got another copy, brought it back, 
and somehow got it onto that button. But the problem is, without something sitting on that button, we couldn't get the first one into position, right? Uh, the other thing to consider is that we could maybe maneuver ourselves along that same course if we were careful. So, yeah. How would that work? Can we get over there in the future and grab a copy of that button? Or grab a copy of that block? We wouldn't be able to press these buttons because we'd be in motion. So I think we can come out... We can come out there if we want to. Like, if we put the blue the blue portal there... Well, no, we can't, we can't really come out unless we change the polarity. Because it's pushing, not pulling. Hmm. We can do something like this. We can reverse it and go that way. Huh. Um, there's a bouncer there. We can get over to that... We can get over there. Right? So we can do something like this, and then put that back. That'll push us up. And then into... So we'll, we'll be going, like, continually through this loop now. Uh, now what? Let's... What do we want to do here? So the blue one, it's going into the orange portal, so we need to keep the orange portal in place. Let's move the blue portal. So this is going to push us... Oh dear, it's going to push us over against this glass wall. Uh, what do we have over here? Is there anything on the other side of that? No. Okay. Uh, hmm. So we can get ourselves into it. So we're going up there, and then it's looping us through, right? Then what? Then where do we put the blue portal? From Where can we shoot the blue portal from there? That would be useful. In order to get over it... In order to get to that cube... Yeah, I don't know about this. We'd have to somehow get up and over. So we shoot the we shoot the blue uh, the orange portal. Hold on, maybe that'll work. So wait a minute. No, let's uh, let's put this back the way it was. So we go there, we go through. Now we go. We go through this one, and then we set this up here, and then as soon as. Now we need to move the, both the blue portal and the orange portal, right? Nope. So the orange portal's there. Blue portal's there. Okay, that's no good. That's just going to repeat the loop for us. How do we get... Hold on. So the blue portal's coming through to there. If we're here... We're kind of we're kind of screwed. There's no way to really get ourselves going up without the blue portal being on, because that's the source of the the thing, right? Hmm. How did we do? How did we do it before? How did we get it up? Did we move the location of the... No, the blue portal can only be accessed from there. That's the only place it can go. So... How did we actually get the thing up? Did it just kind of rise up? It didn't get sucked in and looped. How did we do it? Wait a minute. So we pushed along there. And then we went up. 
Something with something something button. Uh, I don't quite remember how we got past that conundrum there. Um. Blue portal to orange portal. It, it did go up. But it's like it didn't get sucked into the blue. Maybe we can, like, resist it somehow. I'm not sure. Let's, uh... Let's head over there and find out. So this is pushing us up. Can we avoid going into the... No, we really can't. Like we can't get we can't get past it. Hmm. So I don't know I don't remember how we got the uh, the cube to do that. Cause why didn't it get sucked into the loop the way that, that we are? Oh, because it wasn't there. It was never, it, it was, it, it came through over there above that. And we can't do the same thing because we can't start from where the, where the, where the cube drops, right? We can't get in there earlier. We can't get onto the bounce pad. So we get sucked into the never ending loop. That's the problem with that approach. So I'm wondering, all right, let's go take a look at the future. What's different? Anything in particular? Not really. So what can we do with the cube here that we can't do in the past? Or what can we do here at all that we can't do in the past? There doesn't seem to be a lot changed. We've still got grates there, there, and there, and on those two. Uh, one interesting thing, I don't think we used both of those. I think we used one. Right? Is there... Yeah, there's a grate there. So we could pull something into that grate. If we could get ourselves high enough, somehow, we could pull ourselves along. Is there... Wait a minute. What's that? Can that have portals on it? No, it can't. But we could theoretically stand there, I suppose. No, this really just is there for that grate. It's a counterpart. What else do we have here? Here's here's two portals facing each other. So wait a minute. If we do... If we put the blue portal here and the green portal there... Now we've got two different... Uh, oh, they're both pushing against each other. That's really interesting. They're like... They're overlapping, so I can kind of choose which way I want to go. I can get moving this way. Okay. So now we kind of have two portals. We can change where the orange one is. So like, for example, now we could do this. And that'll push us up if we go through. If we can get through here. Yeah, okay. So this is going to push us up. And then what? This pushes us over to here. That's the origin. Yeah, that's no good. We're kind of pressed against this wall now. What if we do this? Yeah, it's the same thing as before. We're kind of in a... They're pushing against each other. And I fall to my doom. Um, okay. I think we were kind of on, on the right path there. So, those two... Those two panels face each other, which allows us to do... Let me try it the other way. So what did we do? We put the blue one over there. Let's put the blue one over here. The green one over there. Yeah, it's the same thing. They're opposing forces here. Hey, that's a Half-Life reference. Okay. 
Can I get through on this side? Let me hop out. So if we, wait a minute, which is, this is pushing, not pulling, right? So our problem is we can't really get past the, like if we, if we did this, we could turn that one off and then we could just use the, the one coming through. So maybe that's part of it. Let's, uh, let's get the second cube going here. Let's remove it from the button. Um, let's get rid of our portals. Oh, did that not do it? That's only the green portal. Well, okay. Let's let's summon the button here, and let's repeat our, our previous maneuver. So we're going to summon the button. It gets pushed through. We drop it. Push it through there. Uh, push it through there. We missed. Okay. We need to, yeah, we need to go slowly enough that we can catch it. That's going the wrong way, though. Oh, but then we reverse polarity. Right, okay, so. Do this. Uh, reverse polarity. Pull it through. And then we go through there. No, we needed to drop it. That'll bounce it, or, yeah, I, I screwed this up. Okay. Go through there. Yes, reverse polarity, and then bounce it. Nope. Ah. All right, try again. Drop it. Let it go. And then slowly push it down. And then capture it here. Reverse polarity. Pull it through. Push it up from the middle. Pull it over. And then we push it down. But now how do we get how do we get it? That's that's tricky. I think we need to drop it there. And then turn it off. Hold on. Yeah, we can, we can get a copy of it. So let's reverse the polarity. And then let's push it back the way it was going. And then pull it down. And... Grab, a, grab it. Now if we put the orange one here, it should fall directly towards us. Nope. Ah, ah, ah. Almost, almost, almost. Dang it. Oh, we almost had it. Forgot about the second thing. Okay, 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 okay. So, pop it there. Screw the pooch. Do it again. We drop it here. Bounces up. We allow it to go. Then we push it down slowly. What happened there? Why didn't it... Oh, I, I hit the wrong button. All right, so blue goes there, and then orange is the one that moves. All right. Come on now. We can do this. Drop. Catch. Push down. And then push across. Reverse polarity. Push it up, and then release, and do something like this. Okay, well that that was kind of lucky the way that played out, but I did manage to capture it. All right, so now we have a copy of this. And now we can go to the past, and let's see, that's sitting there, that's fine. That opens up this. So then the last thing we need to do is get this up into that stream. 
And I think we can do it like this. I might be wrong. But I think we put the orange here, push it through, and no. No, that doesn't seem like it'll work. It'll fall too quickly. Where can we where can we drop it onto that? Is there any way we can drop it onto that? We can we can put it there, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we do now. So we put it there, we carry it through and pop it there, and then carefully come come back by ourselves, right? So to be careful not to drop this. Pop this right there. Nope. Right there? Like that? Oh, I think... No, it came through with us. Can I get it... Can I set it down so that it doesn't fall in the hole? I can do that. Then I can go through, right? Okay. Now, uh, we'll move the, the blue portal there. Nope. And then we put the orange portal there. That pushes it up, right? Now we have the problem of the loop. Oh, there it goes. Gone forever. Okay, so that's not the solution. And now, now we have to go through and get it again. Oy vey. Okay. Uh, blue portal starts. We should be getting better at this now. I should remember how to do this. Let's drop through. Drop it, catch it, goes through there, push it down, catch it there, reverse polarity, and then we drop this and blue portal, and it disappears. Damn it. <laughs> Where can we put it so that it's going to... I guess up there? Yeah, up there's the best place to put it. All right. Uh, so blue portal to there. Try again. We drop it. Catch it. Oh, no. Ugh. Too soon, too soon. Okay, drop it. Catch it. Push it. Push it. Reverse polarity. Push it again. And then... Drop it. Oh no, what? Oh, that's not there in the... Pr that's not... That's blocked in, the, in, this, in this timeline. Dang it. All right, where's the right place? Because last time it kind of shot through. Maybe I just wait for it to get all the way to the top, and then if I do it, it'll work. Let's test that theory. Blue, orange. All right. Drop it. Bounce it. Catch it. Redirect one. Redirect two. First polarity. Redirect three. Let it get all the way to the top. Then drop it with an orange portal. What happened to the ball? Did it not? Or not the ball, the, the block. Huh. Wait a minute, maybe... No, I have to turn it off. How did I get it to do that the first time? It was luck. That's not it. I was lucky the first time. Oh, come on. This puzzle, man. Like, I, I, the, the, the execution is a lot more involved than it has been in the past. OK, 
Okay, so now if I if I drop it, uh, wait, what happens? Oh, oh, that's why it fell off. Okay, so my what am I? Uh, how do I keep getting this so wrong? All right. This time I'm gonna like double check what I'm actually doing. Oh, it's the blue portal. It's not the... It's not the orange portal. The last one to get it. All right, so all the way to the top, and then blue portal. It survives. Okay, yeah. So as long as we get it all the way to the top, it'll, it'll survive. All right. Let's take this back to the present. So, <clears throat> um, how are we going to get this into the stream there? How are we going to do this? If I... If I just go like this, right, can I... Can I shoot the... the blue portal fast enough? No, definitely not. Alright, well we know our... we know our end state here. That's the end state. Can I... I mean, is it simple as, like, jumping? Can I kind of jump and let this go? No, I can't jump high enough. How do I get it in there? I can't... I can't drop it from either of those, because those are graded. And I can't... I can't push it through to there, because then it gets stuck in the loop. Right? Yeah, then it gets stuck in the loop. Is there any other pl way for me to get it over there and maneuver it through the puzzle again? Not that I can see. We could go backwards, maybe. Can we go backwards somehow? Is there a low enough one to go backwards? No, there's not. Is there anything else down here that I haven't seen? No. Yeah, I was wondering if maybe I could go backwards if I redirected the stream that way, but I don't see that working. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. We just, uh, we just do this. That pulls it back. And then we do that. And there it goes. In the event that something horrific were to happen to this facility in the future, my protocol is to find a viable candidate that can withstand the effects of time travel on the human body and help to rectify whatever led to the tragic events of the future. That's where you come in. We need you to stop this test subject dead in its tracks and save the facility. Okay, there's 24 done. Whew. Only one more puzzle. And I bet there's a bunch of Easter eggs here that I've missed, like clever things you can do with the portals to get to areas you're not technically, you're quote unquote, not supposed to be in. Uh, but I, if there are, I haven't, I haven't seen or found them yet. Okay. Well, welcome to the final chamber. Don't get overwhelmed. Take everything one step at a time, and you will soon find the solution. Here we are, guys. Test chamber 25. This is the last chamber, and boy, does it look like a doozy. So, I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, we'll tackle the final chamber and see what surprises the mod has in store for us as we complete its suite of test chamber challenges. Uh, until then, as always, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Hope you've been enjoying the series. And uh, until next time, take care. See you then.